Uh, you were in a stall, sir. <laughs> Don't you want to wash up a little bit? Yeah. What if you're shaking someone's hand later? I mean, there's been times where I've seen that and I just want to, like, open the door and yell out, He didn't wash his hands! <laughs> just shame him into doing it next yeah. time. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to episode, I think it's 15, mm-hmm. with Brent Walker. How's it going? It's going all right. Uh, the last two episodes I did were social distancing episodes, so it was online, so I'm glad I'm doing, like, a physical thing again. So, welcome. Well, we live together now, so... We live together so now. So social distancing so, is impossible, so... Yeah, right. We, <laughs> we live together now. This isn't friendly visit. This is roommates, so... We're uh, going to be doing these cat art uh, kits that my sister got from, I think, Hobby Lobby. They're, I mean, they're just perfect. Um, this one's a color pencil one. This one's a painting one. And the kits just come with everything you need. Look at that. It's got a little pencil sharpener, too. Nice. And it's for 8+, plus, which is good, because that's about the extent that's... of my artistic... <laughs> <laughs> Eight plus, yes, within our range. I'm gonna try to copy this though a little bit. <laughs> this might take me a while. Depends on how detailed I want to get. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow. That is. That'll take some time. <laughs> very, very complex design. Great. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> um, mix those colors for that. Oh, okay. All right. It's nice to be in a house again. Yeah. I think it's only the second time I've ever lived in a house in the like 15 years I've been in Seattle. Last time was with the punk rock band. <laughs> that was awesome time, let me tell you. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> there was a bar down the street that bands would play shows and then they'd crash at our place. And we had a kegerator and everything. That's pretty cool. Interestingly enough, it was always my parties that got out of control. <laughs> <laughs> my roommates may or may not have gotten robbed once or twice in that house. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn, dude. I'm gonna make it up to him though. One of them had these like these rad swords on this wall, and I don't know someone snuck into the party that we weren't watching and and stole them. So if I ever have money, I'm gonna get him a, a nice sword. <laughs> mm-hmm. Make up for that. Yard too. I haven't had a yard in a long time. Yeah. Oh, there's a cat right there. Got a yard with a garden. Yeah. That'll be fun to do some gardening. Boy, this is gonna take a minute. Oh yeah. <laughs> the power of editing, right? Yes. <laughs> that man, that is tough. <laughs> I don't know if I'd have the patience for that. <laughs> some of these things, like some of these things I have to paint within. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> So you're telling me a little bit about, like, your uncle Uh did art stuff. Yeah. And, like, you have a painting of his. Yeah, I have this really cool uh, Western painting from my Uncle Jim. He passed, uh, I don't know, five, six years ago. But in that house, they had a lot of, like, Louis Lamar novels. Mm Mm-hmm. And, like, if you look at that painting, it's very influenced by Louis Lamar. And I love that painting. It needs a little bit of a cleaning, but somehow I ended up with it. I just got to find a place to put it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he could paint. But yeah, he passed of a disease called Huntington's disease. Oh, really? I don't know if you've heard of that before. Yeah, I have. So uh, my dad had it as well, and he passed from it as well. They, they passed around the same time as each other, pretty close within a few months. Mm-hmm. But like uh, in the later stages of his life, my dad couldn't like walk or talk or, or move without help. 
And uh, if that wasn't bad enough, it's 50% hereditary. Mm -hmm. And so that means the three kids had a 50% chance of getting it. And uh, my brother tested negative like right away. My sister tested positive, but doesn't show any symptoms yet. And uh, it's it's kind of like ALS, except when you get ALS, I think you have like a year or two, maybe. Mm -hmm. With Huntington's, you usually don't see symptoms until 30s or 40s. And so for like 20 years, I had this, this weight on my chest of, do I have it or not? Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't want to get tested because there's no cure. And maybe if I had a kid or a wife or something, I'd want to get tested. Yeah. And so, uh, I don't know, something finally just broke in me and I was like, I'm going to do it. And so I took a couple months off work and I got tested and tested negative. And so for the first time in a long time, I could think of my life in the, uh, long, in the term. long term. I'd always thought of it kind of in the short term. I always kind of assumed I was going to get it for some reason. And that's kind of why I pulled the trigger and went to SFI. But uh, yeah, I, when I tested negative, I, I wrote this short about kind of my battles with depression and stuff mm -hmm. from dealing with that. And they had a paper that they, that they published it in. <clears throat> and uh, then they interviewed me on their, on their little podcast. And they had a fundraiser and sold some copies of my, uh, of my little, little short. And that's where that kitty kitty picture came from that I showed you yesterday. Oh, yeah. So they were auctioning off, try to raise money for the Huntington's Foundation, and and that's what you picked up at the auction. Yeah, that and the and the dog one. I had to match them. Right. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. Yeah, but it was it was interesting. Like when it when it made it to the papers, it was like some people like reached out to me on Facebook and stuff that I'd never heard from before. Right. And uh, so that was interesting experience. But it pays to try to be open. It really does. It's hard, though, man. I'm a private dude. I don't like attention. You know, I'm a behind-the-cameras kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> but that's part of the game. If you want to make it, you got to open up to people. Because you're selling yourself, really. Mm-hmm. Anything film-related. Oh, I messed that one up. Oh, well. <laughs> this is going to be a blue forehead now. Instead of the pink one, I missed the line there. Blue forehead, that's <laughs> perfect for a cat. <laughs> There's no turning back. Happy mistakes, as Bob <laughs> Ross would say. <laughs> oh, he was awesome. Yeah. I remember watching him as a kid. The happy trees. And the... Happy trees. <laughs> now we're just going to... Take this and beat the devil out of this brush. <laughs> I got the one brother and the one sister. That's all I need. Yeah, that's all you need, dude. We're very close, all of us. Brother's got three kids, sister's got two kids. <clears throat> Do they worry about their kids getting Huntington's? Well, my brother doesn't have to worry about it. It doesn't, it can't be like passed on unless you actually have it. Correct, yeah. So he's free and clear. But uh, I'm sure my sister, you know, worries about it. And, and I worry about it. But again, it's like one's two and one's a few months. So it's like. No, 20, not happy. 30, yeah. 20, 30 years from now, I might worry about it. But And by that point, they probably... Oh, by that point, you probably just get a shot or something. Yeah. And, it's, and it's dead. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Stuff like that defines you, though. Dealing with things like that. Mm -hmm. Everyone's got some sort of story, you know. Of trauma or whatnot that they've overcome and adversity. Yeah. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It's a good saying. Mm hmm. <sighs> what have I gotten myself into, dude? <laughs> what? I don't know. 
How detailed are you gonna get with it? This thing, I mean, you know, you think, oh, there's eight colors in here. It should be eight different colors. No, they tell you to mix the colors. What? You gotta like. <laughs> you definitely picked the good one. All right, I would not have been able. I think I would have just shut down immediately if I would have got that other one. They're like, nope. <laughs> Nope, I'm gonna draw stick figures instead. <laughs> so many lines! <laughs> Outside of all of them! Of course, man. What, what age is this one here? It doesn't even have an age. Oh, okay. It says intermediate. That's not intermediate. It's like professional. <laughs> and I uh, grew up in Port Townsend. But yeah, there's Port Campbell, Port Hadlock, Port, you know, there's Port Ludlow. There's so many of them. Uh huh. <laughs> but it's fun over there. It seemed nice and like quiet. Like I wouldn't mind, yeah. you know, if got some property out there and like came into the city a couple times a week to do consulting or something or. I was thinking something like that too before we got this place. Uh, I was considering, you know, moving back to the peninsula for a little bit. Yeah. Maybe like a Bremerton or a Bainbridge or something. Uh huh. Something right by the ferry. And uh, maybe just, you know, come over to Seattle every once in a while and work or whatever. But it's interesting because it's like when you're. When you're a kid and you're in a small town, it's like you just want to get out of there. Right. And, uh, because, you know, there's not a whole lot to do, you know. And then that's kind of what we all did. We graduated from Port Townsend and a lot of us came over to Seattle to go to school or get jobs or whatever. And in your 20s, it's great. Yeah. Because there's food everywhere, and there's, you know, bars everywhere. You're just people. discovering life, and it's, like, yeah. a lot of life here to discover. Yeah. And so it's, like, all the amazing food and all that. But now that I've gotten a little older, it's, like, I, I kind of miss the chillness of, of a Port Townsend and mm -hmm. small town life. Yeah. I think I'm good. Think you're good? I do. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How long were we filming for? I don't even know, dude. I kind of lost track of time. Uh, I think the other one was an hour, and we're looking at 34 minutes right now. How much is it usually? Um, For a while there, it was like an hour and a half to two hours. So it's about the same person. range then. Yeah. Okay, good. The last couple ones... They've been like less than an hour, uh -huh. but I think Didn't have many things to talk about. Maybe or... well, our art was kind of faster. Oh yeah, true. Um, <laughs> but it still works. We definitely have enough stuff for me to cut out fifteen minutes. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Got some good stuff. Let's All show. Right. Let me show it off. Let's I know you're off. not quite ready, but. Let's show off your masterpiece, your <laughs> meowsterpiece. <laughs> meowsterpiece. So, so, originally I was going to kind of mimic that. Yeah. And then I kind of, am I on there? You yeah, you're, you're on there. Yeah, but I kind of started it. going my own, my own route here. There you go. And so, I changed up some of the colors. I gave them like brown, brown whiskers instead of white whiskers and... Yeah, I, I made it mostly blue though. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I went kind of my own route. But overall, not bad. About as good as an eight-year-old, I would think. <laughs> yeah, is all I was hoping for. Eight or up. Eight or up. You're, you're, you're right within that range. <laughs> That's all I wanted to be. Um, you're not gonna be able to see this because it's just like a series of gray splotches. But. <laughs> This is what it's going to be at some point. If you can see the... There we go. No more gloss. Uh, I would recommend this is like a... 
a whole day. This is like a nice catter day. Uh, drinking wine, <laughs> chilling out, watching Netflix, and just paying by numbers. I would not... Re- if you were like, I need to give a gift in the next two hours, <laughs> this isn't gonna... You're not gonna be able to do this. <laughs> so yeah, that's my two cents on that. Uh, well, thank you, Brent, for yeah. being on. Yeah, um, Now you can go back to your room. All right, sounds good. <laughs> but I'm going to do some shopping <laughs> in a minute. All right, well, that's it. Tune yeah. in next week.